Tip number four is going to be the how to auto. Is going to be how to auto. Tip number four is going to be how to auto generate captions and edit them. Okay, so before we generate the captions, I want to make sure you know how to add regular text as well. So to do that, just go over to your tools over here, go to the very bottom, the type tool, click on it, and then just click on your screen where you want your text to be. So I'm going to click there, type what you want. I'm going to write type. Notice that this little graphic came into the timeline right there and it'll say type on it. You can expand it and move it and everything just like a regular clip. And then to modify it, you just either double click in so it highlights red or just click in and then highlight it. Go over to your essential graphics. Make sure you're in edit, not browse. So click over on edit and then mess around with stuff. So here's all your align and transform things. So for example, this one will go middle and middle down here is all like your regular like font and sizing stuff here. So you can shrink your text, make it bigger and stuff right there. And then down here is the color. If you want an outline, background, shadow, etc. Now, in order to auto generate captions, the first thing you have to do is go over to your captions and graphics workspace. So I can kind of see mine up here. But again, if you don't see it, click on workspaces and then find it right here. So captions and graphics. And then you could just go over to your captions right here and just click create transcription and that'll do it for the whole sequence. But I only want it for a little section here. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to move my playhead to where I want the transcription to start. I'm going to hit I, I'm going to go to where I want it to end and click O. Just make sure at the end here that it's actually like suction cup to the end of your clip. So you see those triangles and then I'm just going to scoot this one over to right there. So it starts there. So I'm going to leave this clip out. I don't want to generate captions for that clip. And then all I'm going to do is go up here to create transcription, click that button. This is going to come up. This is where you can choose your language. I'm going to leave it as English. You can separate the speakers or not. And then right here is an important one. If I only have one audio level, but if you had a bunch of different tracks, so you had audio one, audio two, you could designate a specific one that you only want to generate captions for audio one, for example, or if you click mix, it'll do it for all of your audio. And then for me, since I don't want to do the entire sequence, like my sequence length of 20 seconds, I only want to transcribe in point to out point only. I'm going to click this and then I'm going to hit transcribe. As you can see, it's analyzing the audio and then it's going to create the text from that audio right here. I would suggest reading through it, but if you think there's any mistakes, so right here, it underlines things that it thinks are mistakes. There might be other ones. I wouldn't fix it here. We're going to fix it a little bit later. Okay. One thing to take note of here is that if I click on a word, you can see that my playhead will jump to that spot in the video. So as I click around here, you can see that it jumps around to match up with the word that's being said and where it appears on the timeline. But you can also, if you slide this along, you can see that it jumping along with the words as well. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is just go up here to this CC thing, click on that, that creates captions. Yours might look like this. I would say just leave subtitle default, especially if it's something for social media, but definitely click this to expand the window to get some other options. And really the important ones are down here. So you might have a style. I don't have any in here, so you might have one to pick from there. But the important one is this maximum length in characters. So the higher that is, the more words that are going to stay on the screen at the same time. So some people like to have it like right down to be basically seven characters. So that's basically going to be one word popping in on the screen at a time, kind of Mr. Beast style. And then that kind of correlates for the how long it's going to stay on the screen, like in seconds here. So I'm going to bump mine up a little bit more, maybe around 20. I'm going to keep uh, drop this a little bit as well. This would be the gap between captions. So, you know, you might want to have some gaps in there. I'm going to have it as zero. So they're just all captions are just connected to each other. And then this one's important too. Do you want your text to appear on like two lines or do you want it on a single line? I think the faster that you make it, the more likely you're going to put single and the longer you're going to having it, you're probably going to have double there. Otherwise, if it's too long and it's on single, it's going to go all the way across the screen. It's not going to look good. Okay. So I'm going to pick single and then create captions. Once it's done analyzing, you're going to see three things. You're going to see all these little clips here, kind of like these text clips that are going to appear at the top and they'll have the text that's being said at that point in the video written on it. And it appears on this, its own little subtitle uh, track right here above 
video. It's got its own little thing there. Those same things, you can see that this blue is attached to where my blue playhead is and it'll jump to that part right here. And it's very, very small on the screen here, but you can see that it, the default is that it shows up really tiny like this on the screen as well. And this is where you would want to edit things if you made any mistakes. So I'm gonna go in here and I think it was around here. It was like, the next thing I'm going to show you is, so I would just click on where I want, double click on it, and then adjust the text to whatever it's supposed to be. And it'll automatically adjust over here and on the screen. One other thing to know about captions is that they can obviously be moved, trimmed, or even sliced in half by using the razor tool up here if your words don't line up. So in this case, let's just listen to this little section and try and fix it up. So I'm gonna push play. Tip number one, use the vertical workspace. So the first thing that I would notice in here is that I would want tip number one to be together on one clip. So I'm gonna listen again until I hear tip number one. Number one. And I get, so right there, there's this like gap here. So I can now take this, move it over, move this over, click into this one, double click in and add one into here. So one, and then I'm gonna go to this one right here, click into it and get rid of one. So let's listen to this first part. So tip number one. Okay, so then use is starting to come in there. So I might even leave a gap right there or you can close it up if you want. For now, I'm just gonna leave a gap so we can listen here. Tip number one, use the vertical. Okay, and the vertical workspace is coming in right there. So that probably lines up pretty Tip good. Tip number one, use the vertical workspace. If you wanted to split these up, workspace comes in there. So you could use the razor tool, slice this, go back to your selection tool on this side, keep it as just vertical. And then on this side, change it to just workspace. So now when we listen to that one, tip number one, use the vertical workspace. So hopefully you get the idea. Now, once you've checked over all of your captions to make sure they're spelt correct and they're saying the right thing, we are now ready to actually stylize our text to make it look how we want. To do that, all you have to do is double click on any of these. So double click on this and your essential graphics panel is gonna open up over here. If you don't see it, go to window and down to essential graphics right there. And then we are ready to mess with our font and color and all that stuff in here. All right, so now what are the things we can do? Well, right here is the obvious one. So you can pick your font and stuff in here. But first, I like to go in and just change the size. It's too small for now. So the first thing I'll do is expand this out. Now notice, if I go too big, it's now gonna change it into double lines instead of single. I can fix that if I want it back on one line later. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna pick my font next. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna pick something fairly chunky. So maybe this usual font right here. So I'm gonna select that one. That just makes it a little bit easier to read. Another little text feature in here that I think is worth mentioning is this double T one here. If you click on that, it makes it all caps or this one right here, it makes it all small caps. The align and transform section is obviously what you use to place your text where you want it. The first thing you have to be aware of is this zone thing. So determine kind of where on the screen you want it first. So if you want it in the middle, click here. If you want it more at the top, click there. So I'm gonna keep mine near the bottom. So I'm gonna go here. And then this, these two things is where you fine tune it. So this is the horizontal movement. This is the vertical movement. So if I click and hold and go left, it'll go left and right will go right. I'm gonna put it back to zero in the middle. And then this one is the more important one in this case, cause I wanna move it up a little bit because on TikTok, shorts, whatever, all the video information is down here and buttons along the side. So I wanna move it up a little bit. So I'm gonna click and slide left to move it up to about right there, that's fine. These two are just to adjust. If I double click in here, there's a box that goes around the text to house it. And so this one right here, you can click and slide it to expand it out a little bit just to make more room for some words if you wanted. So if I had this as like a smaller text, I could expand it to fit that in like that. And this one is just to adjust the vertical height of the box, not as important in this case. And then down here is just your color, outline, background, and shadow. So I'm just gonna take away the shadow and maybe just add a background in. So it comes in as gray behind right now. I'm just gonna change that to black just so it stands out a little bit more. 
I'm gonna maybe increase, I'm not gonna go all the way to black, but just make it a little bit darker. This is to expand it so it's a little bit wider. And then this is how curvy you want the corners to be. So I'm just gonna curve them like that. Once you've made the look that you want, the important thing is to go up here to track style, click on this down arrow and select create style, and then just name it. I'm just gonna name it text one, click okay. And now that's gonna be in here as text one. The reason why that's important is because now if we go to any of the other ones, it's gonna update them all to match. So if we watch through, you're gonna see that they will all be updated to match what I'm saying in the look that we created for the whole video. One thing that's not so great about these track styles is that once you make them, they're only applicable within the project that you're currently working on. So if I go to a new project and a new sequence that's attached to that project and I go over to track styles, it doesn't exist anymore. But the good news, if I go back, is that once you create them, they export as a textile over here in your project files. So now you can just right click, you can copy it, and when you go to that new project, just paste it in there. And if I go over to this one now, I can now click and within track style here, I can drop it down and it's there. And you'll see, look right here on the screen and boom, it'll switch over to that track style. And just so you know, if you wanna generate captions for other clips in your sequence, like that one that I left out before, then just reset your in and out points. Then just go up to transcript up here and then go over to the three little dots and select retranscribe. You're gonna get the same menus, everything there. Make sure you select transcribe in to out point only, transcribe, and then it's gonna redo its thing and get you new text up here. And then just head up to CC again. And this time we now have a style that we can pick from to match. So we can pick that text one. You wanna drop this down to what you had before and single and then click create captions and then it'll automatically update to the same style we had for the other ones. Now, if you also wanna learn how to animate your captions, make sure to check out the video I have linked down below.